Did you know that the average American spends over $1,200 a year on digital devices? Or that nearly 90% of people admit to making impulsive purchases based on instant gratification? Many millennials and Gen Zs are facing this issue, but why is that? Today, we're talking about the 10 things that might be keeping you poor and financially exhausted. And no, it's not just about not earning enough or not saving enough. Before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on our next videos. Number one, the perfectionist trap. Let's say you're scrolling through your social media feed and you see your friends living seemingly perfect lives. Perfect jobs, perfect homes, perfect relationships, perfect bodies. Everything is just so perfect and you can't help but compare your life to theirs. You start feeling like you're not good enough, like you're falling behind. So you start striving for perfection. You want the perfect everything. But let me give you a reality check here. Perfection is a myth. It's an unattainable standard that we set for ourselves, often influenced by societal pressures and the fear of judgment. The pursuit of perfection can lead to unnecessary expenses, like you might find yourself buying expensive clothes, gadgets, or even experiences, just to keep up with the perfect lives you see on social media. But in reality, these purchases might not even align with your personal values or financial goals. To escape this perfectionist trap, try setting more realistic and achievable goals that align with your lifestyle. It's okay not to have everything. What's important is that you're financially stable and happy. Number two, imposter syndrome. Moving on, have you ever felt like a fraud? Like you don't deserve your success? That, my friend, is called imposter syndrome. It's a psychological pattern where you doubt your accomplishments and have a persistent fear of being exposed as a fraud. Turns out, 70% of people experience these imposter feelings at some point in their lives. When you're constantly feeling like an imposter, you might feel the need to prove your worth. And often, this comes in the form of overspending. You know, you might buy expensive things to show that you're successful, or you might avoid negotiating your salary because you feel you don't deserve more. A study found that one in five people have spent money they didn't have to keep up appearances. They bought things to fit in, to not feel less than. And that's where imposter syndrome can lead you. To overcome this, first of all, stop comparing yourself to others. It's just not worth it, trust us. You can also try writing down your accomplishments. It doesn't matter how big or small they are. This will help you realize your worth. Number three, financial stress. Next up, did you know financial stress is a real issue, especially among millennials and Gen Zs? A recent survey found that 67% of millennials and 64% of Gen Zs feel financial stress regularly. I mean, that's more than half of the young population. One major reason is the lack of proper financial guidance. Many of us were never taught how to manage our finances in schools. We were thrown into the deep end without a life jacket. And now, we're struggling to stay afloat in a sea of bills, loans, and credit card debt. The consequences of this lack of financial literacy can be severe. It can lead to poor financial decisions, such as overspending, not saving for the future, or getting into unnecessary debt. All these decisions can have long-term effects on your financial health. Try reading financial literacy books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Trust us, your future self will thank you. Number four, flex culture fatigue. Let's talk about the flex culture now. You know, the trend where people flaunt their wealth or status on social media. It's all about the flex, showing off the latest designer clothes, the flashiest cars, the most exotic vacations. Flex culture coupled with overconsumerism can have a huge impact on your money. It creates a constant pressure to keep up, creates unrealistic expectations to always have the latest and the best and eventually leading to overspending and financial stress. Let's take an example of Lisa, a Gen Z individual. Lisa is constantly seeing her friends and influencers on social media, showing off their latest purchases. She feels the pressure to keep up, so she starts buying things she doesn't need just to fit in. She buys the latest iPhone, even though her old one works perfectly fine. She orders takeout from expensive restaurants just to post it on her Instagram story. Before she knows it, she's in debt and struggling to pay her bills. The next time you feel the urge to buy something you don't need, take a step back and ask yourself, do I really need this? Or am I just trying to impress others? Number five, fear of missing out. Moving on, you might have felt a pang of envy when you see your friend's vacation photos on Instagram. Or maybe a rush of anxiety when you hear about your peers' latest promotions. That's called FOMO or 
fear of missing out. Now, let's add another layer to this, the quarter-life crisis. It's a period of doubt and anxiety that many people experience in their mid-20s to early 30s. It's a time when you start questioning your life choices and where you're heading. These two phenomena combined can lead to impulsive financial decisions. You might book a trip you can't afford just because you saw your friend's beach photos. Or you might buy a new car or a house, not because you need it, but because you feel like you should be at a certain point in your life. A study found that nearly 40% of millennials have spent money they didn't have and gone into debt to keep up with their peers. To overcome this, don't let societal pressures dictate your financial decisions. Have a clear plan and then stick to it. Focus on your own goals and make financial choices that align with them. Number six, delayed major life events. Next up, there's another issue worth mentioning. A recent study found that one in three millennials are delaying major life events because of financial reasons. You know events like buying a house, getting married, or even starting a family. This delay can lead to financial stress and anxiety. One reason could be social isolation. In today's digital age, it's literally very easy to feel disconnected from others. And this feeling of isolation can lead to unhealthy spending habits. For example, you might find yourself shopping online just to feel a sense of connection or for a sake to fill a void. If you're planning for a major life event, start saving early. This can help reduce financial stress and give you a sense of control. It's okay to move at your own pace. Number seven, the realization of being not good. Next, there is a harsh reality many of us face. The realization that we're not actually good at anything specific. Alex, a Gen Z guy who has always been a jack of all trades, dabbling in various fields but never really mastering any. He sees his peers excelling in their respective fields, and he starts to feel inadequate. He begins to question his worth and his ability to secure a stable job. This type of thinking can lead to job instability and financial insecurity. But don't lose hope. Being a generalist is not a bad thing. Interestingly, it can be a strength. Generalists often have a wide range of skills and can adapt to various situations. They bring a unique perspective to the table and can often see the bigger picture. So take some time to identify what you're good at. It doesn't have to be a specific skill. It could be problem solving, communication, or even your ability to learn quickly. Number eight, tech addiction. Remember the stats we shared at the start? Of an average American spends over $1,200 a year on digital devices. Well, guess what? In this digital age, tech addiction is a real issue, and it's very easy to get caught up in this. From smartphones to laptops, we're constantly connected. But what happens when this connection turns into an addiction? And what about the inevitable digital burnout? Tech addiction can lead to unnecessary expenses. You might find yourself constantly upgrading to the latest gadgets, subscribing to multiple streaming services, or even spending money on in-app purchases. And digital burnout can literally affect your productivity and mental health, which can indirectly impact your financial health. If you're too burned out to work effectively, it could affect your job performance and consequently, your income. To manage your tech use and avoid digital burnout, try to set certain times of the day as tech-free times. This can help you disconnect and recharge. Nine, over-sexualized environments. Now let's talk about something that's become quite prevalent in today's society. Over-sexualized environments and the hookup culture. It's everywhere, isn't it? From music videos and movies to social media and advertising, it seems like S asterisk X is constantly being sold to us. And the hookup culture, Oh, please, the idea of engaging in casual relationships without any emotional attachment. It's just empty. All these societal pressures can lead to unnecessary spending. You might find yourself spending money on expensive outfits, dates, or even gifts just to fit into these environments. Let's consider a hypothetical scenario. Meet Mike, a millennial who's caught up in the hookup culture. He's constantly going on dates, spending money on dinners, drinks, and gifts. He feels the pressure to impress and keep up with the culture. Before he knows it, he's overspending and struggling to manage his finances. Keep in mind that you don't need to participate in these trends to fit in. Be true to yourself and make better financial decisions. Number 10, instant gratification. 
Moving on, let's face more reality. We live in a world of instant gratification. Want to watch a movie? Stream it now. Want to order food? Get it delivered now. Want to buy something? Click now, pay now, get it now. And while it's incredibly convenient, it can also lead to poor financial decisions. Instant gratification is the desire to experience pleasure or fulfillment without delay. It's the I want it now mentality. And today, it's easier than ever to give in to this desire. However, when you're constantly seeking immediate pleasure, you might overlook the long-term consequences. To resist the lure of instant gratification, try practicing delayed gratification. Yeah, play UNO reverse on it. Resist the temptation for an immediate reward and wait for a later reward. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the info in this video, we'd love to hear from you. Which of these points resonated with you the most? Do you have any tips or experiences you'd like to share? Drop your comments below. And if there's any topic you'd like us to cover in future videos, let us know that too. Before you go, don't forget to check out our video on 12 proven ways to increase your wealth this year. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.